Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we have understood the basic concepts of the float and also the techniques so for clearing the floats also we have seen. So what are the problems that comes when we uh, when we use more floats and how to overcome those float concepts also we have seen it. So now in this video we will try to see the basic layout how we can design the basic layout using the float technology. Let's try to see it. Here I am using HTML, it's a basic thing, okay. And this is the layout.css, including this layout.css. Yeah. And I will be having a header, header element. And in this header, let's say that I will be having a logo. This is a logo. And in this one only, I am having nav, ul, li. I will keep something like 3, okay and what i can have here so it will be greater than a and i can use like this sorry like this so this is the just it's an emit thing so like this we have added or otherwise you can also have a link for also you can keep it so this is the navigation this is header and in that one you are having logo and navigation let's see the output how it will look like then only we can understand it right so this is the logo and this is the navigation thing first header thing i will apply the background color some background color for the header let's go to the layout.css and header i am applying background color of something like light coral or anything any color whichever whatever you want we can apply okay so the body is body will be having some margin let's try to make it as body margin of 0 pixel and also we can have this border box in order to have a consistency so you can have after and also the before also i will be using box sizing as border box okay so that's it so this is our just basic layout so now here we are able to see the layout logo should be at the end and this link should come at the right side now what i can do here so for the header uh, close these all things yeah layout.html here i will give this one as class is equal to logo and for this logo in the layout.css here i will be having a logo and for this logo i want to keep it as a float left so i kept it as a float left and if you see here we are able to see these all the things fine in the nav the ul thing list style should be none i don't want those dots and we can have this margin as zero pixel let's see how good this output will be yeah so now these links all the links should be at the right side not no, it should not be at the left side this should be at the right side okay let's move that one to the right side so now the now should be moved to the float of right it should be moved to the right side we try to see here so it has been moved to the right but suddenly the background color has been removed uh, has been gone why because both the, both the items which are present in the header are the float elements now the head automatically it will become zero zero pixel why because here if you try to see this is the header and in this header this one is in the float left and this one is on the float right now the header doesn't have any data to occupy why because they are floating the the content is floating on the web page now this header the height has been gone so in order to get this height we have some hacking methods one thing is what you can do is so the top header is there right header after and here i can use content empty and i can use display table locker also you can use it i shown you right how to use it and clear both we can use now let's see suddenly the what i can say the background has been came back now here these are link one link two link three link four items so this should be also it needs to come one by one side by side not in the one by one top down approach now if i try to keep here nav ul li is all the things should be in the float left so i can keep it as a float left now these are all in the left side so what i can do here so for all those things i can apply something like margin of 10 pixel so left side right side log like this 10 pixel i have added it 
fine i'm able to get this one nice now here if you try to see here this one <coughs> this logo is at the top and these are at the bottom right so for this logo we can apply easily automatically margin top of 10 pixel why because at the top 10 pixel is applied for the navigation links also that is the reason it is coming now this is fine so it's looking somewhat fine so if you want you can also use the margin rate of 10 pixel also that's not a problem so now let's go on to the container design thing so these are all the things remember we are all doing with the float concept only i am keeping a background color of hash yeah so that we can have a clear uh, appearance for that one yeah now i will take the container let's have a container so we have designed the layout header thing so let's close the header and here i'll be having a main it is class is equal to container i can take it is a container and i can have one section okay and another one we can have it as in aside okay i'm using the html5 elements aside i will keep here lorem epsim and in this one also we can have some elements lorem epsim and like this we can have some p elements so this is one section and this is another section aside so this is our container let's go into this one here i can have a container so i can take it as an width or max width also you can take it max width of 80 percent and margin should be auto <coughs> and the background color i want to apply it as an hash ff white color let's see the output how it will look like yeah so this is the output so how i want to get it so nice it's looking nice so now what is the thing i want is so the thing what is the thing i want is and we have see let's see the output here and if you try to see the output and if you try to see a small uh, gap has been came from between the header and the main container why because because of the margin collapsing so paragraph element has a margin so if a parent element doesn't have any margin and a child element uh, has a margin means so the margin doesn't have to do anything else so that is the reason so this is called as a collapsing margin we'll try to learn about the margin concept when we are trying to learn when we are learning so we'll learn at that place but here for the time being what you can do is so as a thing so you can have this one as overflow auto automatically that one will go away or otherwise you can give a something like little bit of padding or something like this also if you try to give then also it will go away so padding uh, padding so if you try to give like this padding or anything so not left thing sorry if you apply padding top or anything so just the padding uh, thing it will go away so these all things will be coming so we'll try to learn whenever whenever we are learning about the what i can say <coughs> margin collapsing so i am keeping it as a due thing so i don't want to complicate it i don't want to confuse you so here we are having two paragraph elements now let's say that so in this aside we are having another paragraph element right so you can have this one oh, or otherwise what i can say try to keep it these are all the things as p only if you want i will keep it as p only and these all things i can wrap it in a div okay i can wrap it in one div now if you try to see the output it's the same one and the same only you'll be getting so here what i want to do uh sorry for this one i need to keep paragraph element right oh, so why it is not coming yeah so these all things i can keep it as paragraph element okay done now these are all boxes right this is a section and these are all paragraph elements we are able to get it otherwise we'll change it as an um, or the way i'll keep it as overflow overflow hidden or auto whichever you want to keep it you can keep it then you can remove that gap between those things so now we are we are able to get this one now i want this one as a sidebar so i need to push this one to the right side or left side whichever you want you can push it so here i can say this is one section and this is an aside so section class is equal to main section main i will write it main section and this one is a sidebar class is equal to sidebar i will keep it as a sidebar so now we go into the main section dot main section 
this should be in the float left and the sidebar so that means there is nothing but an s side this should be in the float right side and what is the thing i want here this should be width of so total 80 percent is there so this one should take around 70 percent and here this one should take width of remaining 30 percent let's see the output how it will behave so now we are able to get this one so here this is a sidebar and here this one is a normal content now let's try to design the footer so if you try to design the footer so how it what will happen let's try to see so now if you remove this hidden thing then also if you see the output so this one will go away and what you will try to do here dot container so hacking thing not hacking thing so in order to get the content so content i can keep it as like this and i can do the display table and i can clear the i will clear the both now if you see the output see now this time also this border uh, this uh, container has been uh, so there is no padding between there is no margin between the header and the container why because because of this floating elements because of this floating elements because of this floating elements we got this one and uh, because after applying this container after the margin has been gone away so now i want to apply the footer so if i want to apply the footer then what i need to do is here after the main i can use a footer okay so in this footer so after applying the footer i will write another paragraph or anything all rights all rights reserved so if you want you can have this one as center so if you go to the output here we are able to see it right and what i will try to do here in the layout.css i can apply footer sorry it should not be a class so footer text align center we can apply text align center that's it more than enough i think so here we are able to see this like this now so this is how we can do the layout now if you want to add some boxes at the bottom so aside and this one is finished right i want to add some boxes at the bottom means what i can do here the main section is finished okay in the aside so i said is also finished if you want you can also add it here div class is equal to boxes and here i can write dot box into three okay we wanted three boxes now let's go into the css here i will add the box with these something around 33.33 percentage and it should be float left okay so let's try to see the output and height should be 100 pixel okay or otherwise we can add not height we can add or epsilon this is all the content we'll try to add it again and here also we'll add it and here also we'll add it so now there is no need for us to mention the height why because we want it as an intrinsic so now we got three boxes let's apply a background color i will apply a background color of red anything whatever it may be so we got the three red background colors now what i want to do here so these three background color reds are there right these items i have what i want to do is so these items box items i want to lay out it as in something like gaps i want to give the gaps between these things so if i want to give the gaps between these things so what i can do is here <coughs> so let's try to apply the gaps here so margin 20 pixel and in the box itself i will be adding padding 20 pixel let's see how, how could this one will become so these all things came one by one down so why it has been came one by one down is because of the margin what we have applied so one thing what we can do is these are all boxes right in these boxes i can have a paragraph element okay i can have a paragraph element and for this one also i can have this another paragraph element and for this one also i can have another paragraph element okay and for this box so you are having with 33.33 percentage so there is no need to apply this one and padding so we don't need to apply okay we got this one and here dot box of p so of box of p i want to apply a margin of 
20 pixel anything so i want to apply a margin of 20 pixel and for this p i will apply background color now let's see how good the output will come see now the output will be exactly what we have expected so now if you want to do something like padding so you can apply a padding of 10 pixel so you can apply padding of 10 pixel this is also okay fine so now we have applied a padding of 10 pixel so this is how we can design the layout thing so now we have designed the layout thing and here if you want you can also add the padding and this is the footer thing L like this now using the floating concept so using the floating concept so we can design the layout like this so in the previous things so before the introduction of flex grid and all those things so the layout will be designed using the float like this only so you like this we used to design the layout concept so this is how this is how we will be doing the layout thing and also how we can overcome some of the problems which the float automatically creates us so we have seen about this one all right Go, background going away and these all the white background also going away how we can override those all things so these all things we have seen it so this is all about the floating thing hope you understood about the float css float concept if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you